Hi, my name is Alyssa. I'm the Resource Center Director for the Union of BC Indian Chiefs, and today I'm going to explain the first step in our workflow for our redevelopment of the Resource Center and introduce you to our cleaning, assessment, and processing area. This caddy here holds most of our needed supplies to clean and process items that are going to be added to the collection. So we've got cleaning cloths, we've got various different implements, we have our stamps and crimpers that will be used to process materials, we have labels, label protectors, mending tape, all kinds of different things. We have erasers and uh, things for cleaning documents and books in this little, this little area. We have our special stickers that will be used on reference materials and our special collections items. And then this drawer holds some uh, loose sheets of uh, barcode protectors. We also have more of those on this reel and these rolls right here are our spine label protectors. The first station in our workflow is going to be a cleaning and a condition assessment. Every item is going to be wiped down. We start wiping down the outer surface and remove any loose dirt or grime that will come off. To use this, we're using a magnetic dust cloth. These are called dust bunnies and they do a great job at grabbing loose fibers and dirt. When we're done wiping out the outside, we're going to inspect the inside for marks, more dirt. If anything can be erased, we'll use an eraser to remove anything we can. When we're done examining the actual pages, we're going to support the text block of the book with one hand and then gently lift up on the hinges. If there is a gap and the hinges are loose, you'll be able to see that easily. And this book is going to need some, a glue repair before it proceeds through the assembly line. When you're done assessing your book, they will go in the appropriate bins below. Books like this that have interesting, nice, ornate covers are going to get a Mylar jacket cover. So these will go in the appropriate box for that. Any book with a jacket is going to get a jacket cover put on the book. So they will go in the appropriate box for that. Some items are going to need multiple repairs. This book in particular, in addition to being cleaned and wiped down, it's actually quite dirty, but it's also, I suspect just from its age and condition, it's going to need a lot of work. It's going to have loose hinges, so that's going to have to happen first. Typically, hinge tightening and glue repairs will happen first. Torn pages and paper mends will happen second. And then enclosures, jackets, and jacket covers will happen later. And I can see by looking through this book that there are several tears, too, that we are probably going to want to repair with a Japanese tissue and wheat starch paste because this is a semi-rare and valuable book. We're not going to want to tape up this particular repair. For tears and things like paperbacks or textbooks, things that are easily replaceable, we'll use one of our book tapes or our archival document repair tape to mend pages on things like that. If an item is in good condition and doesn't need any repairs, we're going to attach a cover slip to it and it will proceed to be classified. So to do that, we take one thin strip of paper, we fold it around, and then we're going to tape it down to our cover slip on top, just using scotch tape for this. Once the item makes it through the entire process, um, these slips will be discarded because all the information will be transferred to the catalog record. So there we go. This item is ready to proceed and be classified. Depending on what kind of treatment or housings an item needs, they'll be put in the appropriate box underneath the table. These two items needed their hinge tightens and uh, glue repairs prior to proceeding. So this one is also going to have paper mends, but we're typically going to do glue repairs before we do paper mends. So they are both going to go in this box. Our items that need mylar jackets or jacket covers will go in the appropriate box over here. Our item that had some mold damage is going to get quarantined in our sealed box, which is in the back corner. And items that have extensive damage, like this particular paperback whose binding is falling, who has extensive highlighting and marking throughout it, who has torn pages, 
and is just an overall lousy condition, anything like that that needs major repairs or whose condition is questionable, those are going to have to go in our questionable condition and major repair box, and we'll decide whether we want to keep them, replace them, or just discard them.